No place like home. Sponsored by Azura Credit Union. Azura Credit Union's No Place Like Home is our way of helping to bring businesses and homeowners together to make where you live comfortable and safe. And this morning, we welcome Lisa Martin, County Extension Agent with K-State Research and Extension. Lisa, good morning. Good Thanks morning. for stopping by today. Sure. Well, severe weather season, it is almost okay. here, which means we definitely need to be prepared for those power outages that we know can happen. Um, you know, what are some things that we can be doing now before we start experiencing those outages? Well, I brought my two handy tools. Perfect. Today, I have a refrigerator, freezer, thermometer, and for bacteria to grow, it needs time and it needs certain temperatures. And so if we keep a thermometer in the freezer as well as in the refrigerator, then we can keep an eye on when it, the food gets into the temperature danger zone, which is above 40 degrees. And then I also have a food thermometer. And so if we need to check a food that we think might have been, have been in the temperature danger zone, we've got this as well. Now, I know food thermometers, you can pretty much pick up anywhere. anywhere. What about the other thermometer? You should be able to at a grocery or a discount store. Okay, mm -hmm. those are very important to, uh -huh. important to have. Mm -hmm. um, you know, what should we be throwing out after the power outage? You mm -hmm. know, some things I know will stay okay once they've been in there, and I know it depends on the length of the outage, too, mm -hmm. but are there right. key things that we need to make sure we do away with? Yes, anything that's perishable, and so things that are high protein, high carbohydrate, or that have been cooked, and so meat, poultry, fish, chicken, um, eggs, dairy products, soft cheeses, um, things like that probably need to go in the trash. Mm -hmm. Probably better to err mm -hmm. on the side of caution uh -huh. than, than to try and... When in doubt, throw it, it out. And you never want to taste because a lot of the bacteria that makes us sick, we can't taste and, and we can't smell. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about preparing for an outage mm -hmm. and, and maybe putting a disaster kit together. Mm -hmm. So getting you know prepared, we want to make sure that our refrigerator and our freezer is in good working order. We've got our thermometers in. It's good, also good to freeze a little bit of extra ice ahead of time in case you need to move things to a cooler. Um, and then if the disaster would hit, in the refrigerator you've got four hours. And so if you can keep it closed, you know, and the power comes back on within that four hours, you're probably gonna be fine. With the freezer, you know, it's about 24 to 48 hours. If it's half full, about 24 hours. Um, if it's full up to 48 hours, you're probably going to be okay. That is mm -hmm. so hard to do when you have kids at home. Exactly, <laughs> if you have someone that's- Out of the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, let's shift gears just a little bit. Um, Food prices are rising. Everyone's mm -hmm. experiencing that. Do you have any mm -hmm. final thoughts on, on mm -hmm. that? Well, this is why the prevention, you know, and getting prepared is so important because we certainly don't want to waste food if we don't have to. Of course, you know, if we think it's become contaminated, it does need to go in the garbage. Um, another thing I would recommend is, you know, as we shop and we bring our food home, it's a good idea to date mark it. Um, so that you know how long you've had it, yeah. um, you know, and so you generally things need to be, especially leftovers, used up within about four days or thrown out. Um, shop the sale prices, check the coupons, um, you know, make your grocery shopping the last trip on your errand list to do because we do want to get that fo uh, the food home um, and safe. Okay, mm -hmm. good tips for all of us. Lisa, thank you so much for stopping by sure. this morning. And you can find out more information about preparing for disasters and power outages by going to Shawnee County's K-State Research and Extension website, and that's at shawnee.k-state.edu. No place like home. Sponsored by Azura Credit Union.